Hello and welcome back. In the previous video, we have seen uh, how we can create a small web page index.html file. In that, we have seen uh, heading one and some text we have written as paragraph text, and we have taken a list, unordered list. For this list, we have given a hyperlink. When we click on this, it will take we take us to a new window. And some of them will open in the same window. In this video, we will see how we can insert an image into the web page. So I have copied some of the images into this folder. Here you can see some images and a video as well. So to insert an image in this uh, web page, you can just select the image, you can drag it and leave it here, or you can go to insert and picture and from file. You can select here are some of the images we have. You can select it and say insert. And always remember they will ask you to enter alternate text to the image. Therefore we have to write some text here. Picture one just for understanding. Write a sensible name to the picture. Uh, what exactly the picture is just describe it not in detail right in one word like that so picture word so in this way you can insert and picture to the web page after inserting the picture you can align this picture you can make it in right align center or left something like that you can right click here picture properties and appearance here you can make it right align so the picture will move to right side. Similarly, you can change some of the settings here. I want to make it again same as none. And you can change the width of the picture. For example, if you want to make it 200 width, automatically it will make height 150. So here, if you remove this aspect ratio, individually you can change both for example i want to make this one 300 so this will not change okay i can make this one 200 so both i can change by removing aspect ratio so in this way it will become you can increase or decrease the size of an image by doing so so earlier it was we will maintain aspect ratio, we will make it 200, we will see. So in this way, you can add picture to the web page. Okay, so and uh, we have uh, earlier, it was like this. We will add few more pictures to this web page. You can insert it again, go to insert and picture from file let's take few more pictures like this and click insert so you can keep on giving the name of the pictures picture 2 alternate text picture 3 picture 4 picture 5 so in this way, picture six, in this way I have added the pictures. Now I want to set the size of the pictures to uh, same like before 200 by 200. I will make it all pictures 200, 200 pixels. Properties, picture properties, appearance 200. Uh, 200. So in this way, I would like to change the pictures. Properties. 
some slides. Okay, so here I have a list of pictures, it's like a gallery. Fine. And I want to make all these pictures as if okay, let's save this save this page and preview. You can see a list of pictures here. Okay, but when you click on the picture, it's not opening, isn't it? So what you can do, you can set the picture as thumbnail. Okay, select all the pictures, then right click here, auto thumbnail. When you select, when you make it as auto thumbnail, let's see the size here, it is 100 by 75. I'll make it this one as auto thumbnail, auto thumbnail. Done. So let's uh, preview this page in the web in the browser. Let me save the images. Go to browser view. Let's have a look. If you click on the image, you can see it is hovering on it, showing some link. When you click here, it will open it. If you click on this, it will open. Look at this. So in this way, you can expand the picture or you can open the browser view. Then you can insert a video as well. To insert a video, you can go to insert media video and select a video from your, select from here all files and you can select the video. You can increase the size again for this by going to active control or page properties. Object here, you can increase the width. Let us suppose 400 by 400. I can increase the size like this. Okay. Uh, in the same way, even you can embed a YouTube link. You can create a YouTube video. You can open a YouTube also from here, YouTube video. Let's do that. You need to go to code and in the paragraph P, I want to write, I want to write an embedded link here, okay? Just open one any of the YouTube. All right, so we can get the video. Let's go to YouTube, then take a YouTube video, any of the video, click on share, then select uh, embedded, select this code, say copy, and go to your web page, web expression, and paste it in this link. Okay, now go back to the design. You can see a video here, YouTube video. Okay, now let's open this in the browser. Okay, save this file, then preview. Okay, uh, when you preview the image, so when you preview your web page, so it looks like this. So web page has an unordered list. You have the links on this and we have inserted some images and a YouTube video. So if you click on this image, again the image will open. So in this way you can open the images. So let's play the video from the browser. You can play the video from the browser by clicking here. And uh, hello. And so look in this way the video will play. If you can stop it, it will stop. And uh, I'm going to work on. So it is uh, a good way you can add the YouTube videos to the web browser. Okay. Uh, and one more thing, one interesting thing is you can insert uh, layers, you know. So this I have inserted a layer just now. And with the help of the layer, you can easily move the video wherever you want. For example, you want to place your video here. It's fine. It works. And you can change the size of the window. 
uh, the frame size and you can change it from here so you can increase or decrease the size of the video how you want that video you can change it for example earlier it was very big uh, I changed it let us suppose if you want to from 400 to height let's say this was 500 before and this was 350 or 300 let's have a look now look the size is bigger now so it's up to you if you want a small size you can make it a small somewhere in the corner you can keep it let us suppose here i need 300 and uh, this one should be height should be 200 or 250 okay now well, let's go here look the size is smaller now so what i can do i can move very easily by using this layer so if i keep it here or somewhere in this corner okay and let's preview this web page save and preview you can preview this video like this hello okay welcome back to uh, in this video I'm so to insert the layers what you can do is here you have uh, layers double click or you drag it and leave it here you got the layer and you can insert even images as well for example if you want to insert an image into this go to insert and picture and insert any of the image so like this so it will be easier now you can drag this image if you want to increase it you can increase the size and you can move it by using uh, what you call layer like this it's very simple to move now because you have the layer with you by using this layer we can keep pictures any number of pictures you can add to the video in this particular layer for example you want to add one more picture down just go to insert picture from file and take this let us suppose some name you can give so in this way you can set one more picture you can add text here so and if you want to move this frame so it will be very easy for you to move it so before that it is not possible to move the frame now it is very easy to move the frame if at all you want to check save it and preview in the browser so you can add video and pictures in this way so we have seen how we can insert uh, images video in layers now we'll see how we can add text to the layer insert a layer okay i want to insert this layer here and let me write some text uh, um, let us suppose i mean the systems offers festival bo in bonus okay for more details contact hs nearest hs okay so this is the text i want to make it as heading 3 heading 3 okay and uh, this is the text mm.
this one i want to make some background color for this okay let me add some background color this is a background color some text color i want to change it to white and the background color i want to add it as this one okay so this one i would like to add on the top of the page here we go on the top like this I want to add one more uh, layer and I want to write splash splash just highlighting make the color green like this and make the text white or better red let's keep it next to it like this let's try like this okay like this in this way oh this color may not be appearing perfectly let me take some other color i think this is better this is much better fine so I want to make mark you this one I want to scroll this text go to code where is Hamida systems uh, here it is and we'll make it a tag here include the tag M A R Q U E E close the tag and after that you have another tag you need to copy this cut this one and paste it next to that end of this okay before heading three done oh now let's check now go to design and save the page and preview it look so in this way you can give scrolling effect to your text okay so this is one more thing you can add to the web page okay now we will add a menu on the top okay after that we'll create hyperlinks let's have a look here i want to create a menu on top like uh, i want to make it home okay home then i would like to give some space like this then we'll do a uh, gallery gallery then space like this then contact us or uh, we can say about us about then like this contact contact so this is what i have created a uh, gallery like this uh, menu after that what we do we will create hyperlinks for this this is my menu now let me create hyperlinks to this and we need to have four web pages like home gallery about us and contact the home page will be our what do you call uh, Alex page index page is the home page then gallery will have a separate page 
about us will have another page contact we have another page okay so we need four html files to create links for this let's create and have a next create a file go to file and create new and html page as give the name save it let's make it as a uh, gallery this is gallery okay so we can write it in lowercase gallery like this so i have created one page called gallery similarly I have to make one more uh, page like about us and contact create one more page go to file new html html file here we can keep the file name as about this is about page then contact page I'm going to create again file new html and save this page as contact contact page now you can give hyperlinks to these pages select this home right click on this hyperlink so for home page you are going to give index when you click on home it has to go to index so index html will open done for the gallery so right click here hyperlink i want to open a gallery gallery html page okay for about us we have an about page right click on this hyperlink link about html then contact page will make it hyperlink contact so i have created a hyperlinks now when i go to save and go to preview click on this now look at this web page you have home see hovering it's showing when you hover it it is showing the link look we have created the links so when you click on home already we are in home alex page now click on gallery so it will go to gallery look at this here it is gallery similarly if you click on so go back the about so here about so go back so if you want to open a new window then you have to go here again the same style select this right click hyperlink properties go to target frame open in a new window that's it now check now gallery where it will open save this page preview it now what will happen i want to close this I want to close this this is my new page when I click on gallery I uh, sorry I gave it for the home I think let me give it to gallery select gallery properties go to target frame new window so okay let's save the page and preview again close this page this is my page when, when I click on the gallery what will happen it should open in a new window called gallery okay see it's opening in a new window gallery my page is here this is my page index page and this one gallery page so in this way you can create a menu and you can create hyperlinks okay that we'll see in our next video thank you for watching this video